Have you ever considered the role information plays in the complex world of aviation? It's an intriguing question, isn't it? Well, the truth is, the act of flying is deeply rooted in information. Every decision a pilot makes, every action they take, is based on a wealth of data they're continually processing. Let's delve a bit deeper. The first layer of signals that a pilot receives revolves around their objectives. These are the messages that express the pilot's mission, the goal they need to accomplish. This could be a destination they need to reach, or a task they need to complete mid-flight. Next, we have instructions. These are the guidelines a pilot follows to achieve their objectives. They dictate the most suitable route, the appropriate altitude, the estimated flight time, and many other variables. Then, there's the state of the aircraft itself. A pilot is constantly monitoring the overall functionality of their plane. From the engine's performance to the fuel level, every tiny detail is crucial. But it doesn't stop there. A pilot also has to contend with environmental signals. These are the cues from the world around them. Weather phenomena, sunlight, fog, clouds, precipitation, and even other traffic in the flight zone all play a part. And finally, there's the continual barrage of new signals. As the aircraft moves through the airspace, the pilot is constantly bombarded with fresh information. This could be a changing landscape, a shift in weather, or a sudden change in air traffic. So as you can see, flying an aircraft is not just about physical skill, but about processing a torrent of information and making the right decisions based on that information. It's a complex ballet of data and decision-making, a testament to the skill and mental acuity of pilots everywhere. Now let's delve into the psychological aspects of how pilots process this information. Psychological research has shed light on some fascinating aspects of pilots' information processing. It turns out that pilots perform better in varied, stimulating environments rather than monotonous ones. This might seem counterintuitive at first. After all, wouldn't a pilot be more focused in a quiet, unchanging environment? However, a rich, dynamic environment keeps the mind alert and engaged, making it easier to process and react to information effectively. This ability to thrive in a dynamic environment is crucial because piloting a plane is not a one-sense job, far from it. It's a full-body, multi-sensory experience that engages almost all human senses. Sight, of course, is paramount. Pilots need to keep their eyes on the instruments, the skies, and the terrain. But touch is also important. The feel of the controls, the vibration of the engine, even the pressure changes that signal a change in altitude. Hearing plays a crucial role, too. From the hum of the engine to the crackle of radio communications. And yes, even smell can come into play. The smell of jet fuel, the whiff of electrical smoke, or the sharp tang of de-icing fluid can all provide valuable information. The cockpit of an airplane is a sensory-rich environment, a flood of sights, sounds, and sensations. But the human brain is remarkably adept at taking in this flood of information and making sense of it. The pilot's brain constantly sorts, prioritizes, and processes this information, turning it into a set of actions and decisions. It's a bit like conducting a symphony with each instrument playing its part, each note contributing to the overall performance. So, the next time you're on a plane, spare a thought for the pilot. Their brain isn't just flying the plane, it's conducting a symphony of information, making decisions that keep us safe in the skies. The human brain, it seems, thrives on the sensory richness of the cockpit, turning a potentially overwhelming flood of information into a symphony of decision-making. But how does a pilot make sense of all this information? Let's delve into the fascinating interplay of sensation, perception, and cognition in aviation. Pilots, like all of us, use their senses to gather information. The hum of the engine, the feel of the controls, the view from the cockpit. These sensory inputs are crucial, but it's their perceptions, their understanding of what these sensations mean, that's key. A sudden silence isn't just quiet, it's a potential engine failure. And then there's cognition, the mental process of making decisions based on this information. Pilots learn new concepts in two ways, inductively, by comparing similar objects and abstracting their common features, and deductively, by applying new concepts to specific examples. It's a continuous cycle of learning and applying, learning and applying. In aviation, information isn't just power. It's the difference between a safe flight and a potential disaster. Understanding the information, processing it, and making the right decisions based on it, that's the real challenge in the cockpit.